guys. What's up guys? Back to my YouTube channel. So here's part three of the gymnastics book challenge. Today's pose. Or this week's pose. I will time to do that. But first, I will show you a little bit about how to do it. So this is called a scorpion pose. I'll just show you. <laughs> that is the scorpion pose. And to be able to do this, you need to be pretty flexible with your splits. So I showed in my other videos how to stretch like this and like that and then flatten right and then so that's really important for your scorpion because watch my watch how far my legs have to spread out when I do that. so you need at least that much of a split if, when you do this so some good things that you can do to be able to get this skill are stretch your neck you can really hurt it so just do neck rolls and any other stretches that you think that will help your neck the only one that i can think of right now are neck rolls so just roll your neck like that okay um another good stretch that you can do is your back because again watch my back i i i really arch my back so which I showed how to do a bridge in my last video, um, but that didn't look in a lot of videos. Our bridges and um, our back bend, which I'm not going to do back bend right now because um, I like to do it with my gym. And also back walk covers, which I will be posting a back walk cover tutorial soon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know to be able to do your scorpion. It's not a super hard skill to do, um, it just takes technique. Um, also, watch how I like kind of start how I'm going to go into my back handstand choice, but then I move up my legs. So you need a lot of power to be able to get your leg all the way up. Um, Hope this helps a little bit. 